Chernoleuka is a village in the Dondushen district that has two architectural monuments worth visiting. The first one is the windmill, located on the hill right before the entrance of the village. As declared by the president of the International Mill Association, Wilhelm van Beggen, and he knows what he is saying, this windmill is unique and might be the last in the world of this kind. What makes it so special? It is made of clay, it has 12 angles, and it was built following the model of Dutch windmills, because its head rotates based on the wind direction. There were two similar windmills in Lithuania, but they disappeared a few years ago, and if the reconstruction of the Chernoleuka windmill won't start soon, we risk to lose this one too. Currently, the mill is not working, and is in a deplorable state. Around 45% of the original mill survived, the basic structure and parts of the mechanism. The mill dates to the 19th century, when on the nearby hills were active either 5 or 11 more windmills, according to different sources. The windmill appears in several paintings by the Basarabian painter Igor Viero. Born in the same locality, during the Soviet Union, he actively opposed the demolition of the mill. For comparison, in the 19th century, there were over 2,600 windmills on the territory of nowadays Moldova. Now, there are only three windmills, nine steam mills, and 11 water mills. The other monument in Chernoleuka is the mansion of Konstantin Kazimir, built in neoclassic style at the beginning of the 20th century. Konstantin Kazimir was a landowner, pedagogue, doctor of science, and Tsarist politician, deputy in the State Duma of the first convocation from Basarabia. As a philanthropist, he supported dozens of Basarabian children to whom he offered scholarships in various schools. Over time, the mansion served a school, bank, and orphanage. The locals say that in the village, many years ago, there was a dendrarium from the time of Kazimir, with an impressive collection of plants brought from abroad, including the American oak and the cork tree. <laughs>